So here we are. Now you, can you guys see him? I can't see him through the viewfinder. There, there you go, right there. Right in the dead center. And his spurs are out. Right there is one. You can see that one. And then... There's the other one right there. Really trying to get a better view of this. I don't know if you guys could see the spurs out. But his spurs are out. Let's look at Crazy Diamond because his were sticking way out. Where did he go? Here's his head. Oh, he's got him. He's curled up now. Son of a bitch. Oh no, there he is. See him? Look right there. You see that little bump sticking out? That's his spur sticking out. And that's a younger snake. They're going to be a lot more defined on the smaller snakes um, until their body actually kind of grows in over them. But these are definitely two males. And I guess because of their wild instinct, they have a little bit more of a wild instinct. Look at that. That's a really good shot at that one. You can see on Crazy Diamond. See it sticking out there. Which is pretty cool. See him move and you can see the spurs sticking out on the side of his, uh, right by the poop chute. There you go, that's a good shot of it right there. Now these two snakes are both males, you know, and also here's Domini. And he's in his tank and he's shedding, so I'm not gonna go in there and look at him, but same thing with him right now. I mean, he actually, when I put him, he was got into this tank with Comfortably Numb and he was trying to mate with Comfortably Numb. He had his spurs out, and he was tickling Comfortably Numb all up and down like this with his spurs. I was gonna film it, but I didn't know if Comfortably Numb was gonna get annoyed by the time I got the camera and, uh, and bit him or something, so I didn't wanna do that. Uh, but I just thought that, you know, I would try and touch up on that stuff for you guys. I'm really trying to get this shot of this spur for you guys of Comfortably Numb, because these snakes are primed. I mean, they're ready to go. And I'll let you guys know something right now. There's the beautiful girl, Maggie of Southampton Dock. You guys can see her. Um, she's gonna be three next season. And so she's probably gonna be ready to go too. Maybe a little bit earlier than I wanted to uh, breed. Um, but this is gonna be a one shot deal. I just feel that all my snakes uh, deserve their chance to breed. And I do want to breed uh, Astronomy Domini. Man, I gotta clean that glass. I think what I'm gonna do this weekend, guys, is I'm gonna take everything out of Domini's tank for you, and I'm gonna rebuild it. I'm just gonna throw everything back in, show you guys how I hang the hides and, and things like that. It should be a very quick and easy video. I'm gonna cut this short, and um, you know, like I said, I do wanna try and breed them next season. Maggie's only gonna be three, which is kind of a, a year earlier than I wanted to breed her, and I'm, I'm not gonna power feed her and, and morph her up and, and take years and years off her life just so I can get some babies out of her. Um, like I said, it's only going to be a one-shot deal. Um, I just feel that the snakes deserve the opportunity and the right to, to breed at least once in their life. Um, and that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you guys like the information that I provided and I really wish that I can get a better shot of these spurs, but the lighting up here is just not working with me. Um, here we go. Maybe we can get it in here. Now, this is already four minutes, guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. But there's Comfortably Numb, and then uh, we all know who Crazy Diamond is, and the little baby BRB. Um, naming them, I'm kind of leaning towards, uh, I, like, I like Echoes, I also like Eclipse, but other snakes are already named Eclipse out there. I already know that, I've seen them. So I don't really think I'm going to name an Eclipse. But I also am really leaning towards Haze which I like, or even purple haze, uh, which is really cool for this kind of snake because and I know we can't see him, he's behind the water, water dish back there, but purple haze would be a really cool name for this type of snake because it really has a lot of uh, purple accents and stuff like that. And you know what? It might turn out that this is a purple phase uh, Brazilian rainbow boa. I don't know exactly which phase it is. There's you know the standard, there's orange, and there's purple. And I don't know exactly which stage, which stage, uh, which phase he is, um, and I may not be able to determine that until the snake gets bigger. So 
I might have a couple of experts look at them and stuff like that and, and let me know what they think. Um, all right, guys, that's gonna do it. And this is uh, this is the, your first uh, video for uh, for Ice Snake 2010. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll last look at that tank there for you all. Those covers are great. If anybody's interested in them, just contact me. Send me a message. I'll work with you. I'll do the very best I can. I mean, obviously, my main goal is to uh, you know try and uh, help everybody better the life of their creature of habit while in captivity. Um, it's just words that I live by uh, with my animals. So. Alright everyone, peace and uh, welcome to iSnake2010.